everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Today we're working on the hives again. We have the uh, telescoping covers and we're going to be uh, finishing them uh, with a pretty cool technique. So follow along. Lombard wants to remind you to always wear the appropriate safety gear. <laughs> <laughs> So we've made the frame um, for the hive box top. We're going to put the, um, the plywood uh, sheet on top. And we're going to pick the better side facing down because that's what we're going to be able to see when we open up the box. So we're going to put the better side facing down. And the nails have come in in the box this long, this far. So I'm going to pre-drill some holes and maintain a distance away from the corners so that I don't go into the nails. So we got the box and we're going to put some glue on it. This is the hive cover? Yeah. We call it, it's called the telescoping cover. side down like that then drill the holes then drill the holes yep yeah. hammer the nails in mm -hmm. okay So uh, the technique we're going to use to uh, preserve and protect the, uh, the hives is called shosugiban. It's basically just burning planks of wood. Um, it's a very common practice in, in preserving and, and waterproofing um, wood. So uh, we're simply just going to burn the edges of this with the torch, what's going to be exposed to the elements, and then we're going to color it and then we're going to seal it with some uh, clear deck sealant and they should look really, really good. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see how they turn out. It's going to be pretty amazing. You want to burn it with the torch just long enough to see the very top of the wood start to crinkle. And that'll give a really nice pattern. You can kind of see what's shimmering. That's the crinkle from this distance. Derek is now brushing off the burn bits using a wire brush and that's going to allow the color when we color it to really sink into the wood. Then you just wipe away the dust with the rag and you can see the really cool designs that come out. So we're just giving it a little light sand. Derek is now applying the color <laughs> to the Shosugiban wood for the box top, hive top, hive top box. <laughs> How's the color looking? Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. You can come closer. We'll give you 
give you a shot here. One second. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's just a little bit of blue food coloring. It's nice, but water. you can't see in the video. Oh, so you sad. Can't see it. it just kind of shadows because right. we're not in the sun, I think. Well, we're just painting it on with a little chip brush. So we mix this one is one packet of blue raspberry Kool-Aid and 20 drops of blue food coloring. I don't think the... the Kool-Aid was all that necessary. It didn't really work out. I think it lightened it though. Did it? Yeah, because that's where you're getting some of the electric color from. See when you turn it, maybe it'll grab it. I'm spraying myself with it. <laughs> Just wiping off the excess so it can dry a little faster. It's drying pretty quick. Good. It smells nice, like blue raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a pretty side. I almost want to hit it with a spotlight so you guys can see exactly what it looks like. We'll have to do it in the sunlight in the morning. Oh yeah. The next morning. Good morning and welcome back. Here's what that uh, beautiful blue looks like in the sunshine. It's gorgeous. Getting ready to put in some deck sealant. It should, should dry clear. So hopefully, that yellow turned out a little more orange. But wow, that boy, that's pretty. Those are small too. Well, smaller. Well, they're very high. <laughs> oh, that's true. They're red tails. They're the, I think they're the two juveniles we saw at Pizza Hut the other day. Oh, yeah? yeah? We've applied the second coat. They're all dry. And they're ready for the tin rooftops. So that's what they look like. I'm excited. Now we just gotta put the rest of the hive together. So stay tuned for more. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching everybody.